Kidding with Encino Mom TV, and in this episode of California Living, we find ourselves in the office of Roger Roth, who is a producer in Hollywood. So, welcome, Roger. Thank you. So great to meet you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, you produced a movie. Yes, I produced and directed Getting Back to Zero with the help of a lot of people. Yes, and yeah. I think you did some writing too, yeah? Yeah, Wally Lozano and myself, we wrote the screenplay. I had written a story about a dice controller. And when I found out that there actually really is a way to influence dice, I wanted to learn more. And I found out about a, a program called Golden Touch Craps. And I went out to Vegas and they let me come out and do research with them. And that's where they teach gamblers how to shoot dice. I love gambling and I spent a lot of time at the craps table thinking if there was some way that I could set the dice and throw the dice, similarly each time I could make some money to make a movie. When I used to imagine and dream that I could be a dice controller, I would stand at the end of the table and I would set them the same way and I thought I was doing something and I would throw the dice, just loft them and ever so slightly and I had good days, I had bad days, but I was dreaming of a, of a movie the whole time and every time I'd lose I'd be like, I'm going to expense this against the movie. Your dad lost everything. You just got your big inheritance. You're high if you think I'm paying off that deadbeat's debt. Really all that's left is the scrap tape. This is not our problem. We can go to Vegas. Why would you go all the way down to Vegas to try and beat the house when well, you can just stay right here and be the house? How many times do I have to tell you you can't control dice? You don't know that. He will shoot us dead if he beats the house. There's four million dollars on that table right now. We cannot walk away from that. Winning and losing is a part of life. We didn't get too deep into how you play craps or any of that. We just put the boys into a situation where they knew how to play craps and they hosted their own game to get out of their problems. The first draft I ever wrote, I, I went up to Sundance about five days early and I said, I'm not coming down this mountain without a screenplay. And I wrote the draft in, and, uh, in three days and it was, it was a great story and it was everything cliche about Vegas, like how cool dice control is and gambling and this and that. And then I showed the script to people and they actually really liked it. But I didn't. It, it just didn't feel like it was from the heart. Okay. And, and I like my stories to come from the heart and I like them to usually be about the underdog. Each character in the film is trying to get back to zero. And when we actually shot the film, it was right when the economy was tanking and everything mm -hmm. really looked like, is the dollar even gonna be good in a year from now? And, and people were freaking out about that. I, I wanted to make a movie that I thought everybody could just relate to even just the title that we all kind of need to get back to zero somehow. So every character in the film is on their own journey and they all cross and um, I don't feel like the violence was necessary for the story. I think the, the real crux of the story is it's two brothers who have to become gangsters to become brothers. How is it working with Wayne Newton? Amazing. Hey, a little birdie told me you guys are having a craps game here tonight. Here we go, Shooter. Point is five. You're looking for a five. Three to one, easy four, easy four. Easy four, do you want to bet number one? Four, here we go, here we go. Okay, one is five, one is five. Here we go, shoot him. Any work from Julie? No, how are we doing? Good, we got her in covered, plus we're up about 100 grand. Great, what's he doing? He wants to play, what? Yeah, Andy wants to raise the table limit to 40 grand. Are you kidding? He's got a lot of money with him. Whatever, money's money. Yeah. He was so down to earth, so humble. He knew the name of everybody on the set. Um, the last day of, uh, I saw him on set, he was like, Roger, this is great. You know, here's my phone number, the whole thing. And I was like thinking, yeah, you know what? This is, this is really cool. I, I, maybe, I, maybe I made it, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and then like literally two seconds later, he was like giving his phone number to PA as well. Like, it was really great to meet you. And I was just like, <laughs> are you nice to everybody? Why do you gotta be nice to everybody? Roger, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It was. And you, I'd like you to go to gettingbacktozerofilm.com where you can find lots of options for viewing the film. You can get it on demand, you can buy it, and have fun. I'm Lisa Keating, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.